Yo, what's up? It's your mate Casa back again here with a brand new video. In today's video, I'm showing you the new NBA 2K18 attribute slash badge slash arts top system which should be in place for 2K18. Now, I'm going to show you what they should have in NBA 2K18 to fix this problem of what they used to have in this year's game. This is what they need. Point guard, whatever you have. You got all around, pass first, score first. All around, athletic, three-point specialist, defensive specialist, scoring specialist. You got all these different things you can actually do in the game, which will make it so much better. You have much more wide variety of things. The height doesn't matter. It doesn't affect your shooting or anything. Your wingspan, your height, nothing affects what you have. And you can make your play as fat as you want or as skinny as you want, which I like as well because you know, just because you're like seven foot three doesn't mean you're fucking 500 pounds or whatever. But the wingspan system would look so much better like this. The body length system, the shoulder width system. The whole system in this game would be amazing if they just copied this one right here. And you can up, upgrade individual stats. So like your three ball, upgrade that to whatever you want. Let's say you have a 95. You got the attribute cap there of what you can have for that player and do it individually instead of buying a whole package and being more expensive and having stuff that you don't actually want to upgrade. So if you're like an outside shooting specialist to upgrade the three ball and the mid range and whatever. And with the badges, we need a badge progression bar. Ronnie 2K, please give us a badge progression bar. We highly need it. And also with the badges, you did such a stupid thing this year having everything bronze and have just certain badges hold of fame. If you work hard enough, you should be able to have every single badge gold. Get rid of the Hall of Fame system you have this year. Get rid of the stupid grand badge system you have this year. Go back to the old days where you just have every single badge gold that you actually earned. So if you have the people actually grind in my career and get the badges, they should have to have gold instead of just having bronze. And you have a certain thing to get bronze. You need 50, say 50 corner shots to get bronze. Or 25 to get bronze. Another 25 to get silver. And another 25 to get gold. Just do it that way and have a progression bar as well to show how close we are. With the jump shots, don't have the jump shot creator. Make us have, we can build our own jump shot from the game start. As soon as you make your my career, you should be able to play with any single jump shot you want. Also, you should have an offline and online mode for my career. So you can play Offline for my career and you get your badges in park at the same time for your online my career Which will help a lot of people out because you don't want to play my career So you get a 95 overall when you can just play park and get that 95 overall anyway If you play a certain amount of games you get a certain amount of good Teammate grades all that sort of shit and with the rep system we need to fix that rep system I'm telling you I'll make another video for that one But what do you guys think about the new play styles and arch types? Get rid of the arch type shit. Just have the play style. So you have the three point, the pass first, the scoring, the athletic, the defensive. What have you? That's what we need. And have every single badge. No Hall of Fame badges. No grand badges. They're stupid. I don't even know why they bring them in the game. I know a lot of people like the grand badges. But the Hall of Fame badges are useless. Like half of them don't even work. If you really think about it. Like Pick Dodger. That, that badge doesn't even work. Hustle Rebound is like a useless badge as well. It's only going to get you badges that are out of your reach. It's not really helping you have a bronze. It's just potent on Hall of Fame as it is in bronze. Half these badges, if you put them on gold, so for instance, if you have a gold dimer, it feels like it's just the same as a bronze dimer. So just let us have all bronze, all gold badges if you earn them. And with the pro with the progression bar, you have to have a 25 corner shots for bronze, then make it another 50 for silver, and then another 50 for gold. Make it something like that. So then it's harder for these people to have it gold. And also it gives people another job. Because people have badge badge grinders. They actually get money and get a, a working day out of this. Like they can actually do that full time. Which I'll probably be doing for 2K18 if you guys want that. But what do you guys think they should implement in NBA 2K18 for the arch type play style, attribute, badges system? Tell me in the comment section down below. I need all your feedback. Also, share this video to every one of your friends so they actually know what NBA 2K18 is going to be like. But if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see any more videos just like this, how I explain to you and show you what NBA 2K18 should be like, what video should I do next, I may... I don't even know what I should do next. I'll, I'll figure that out. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to drop a like, share... 
subscribe if you are new. Go follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I post daily on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. I'm active as shit on there. We're grinding for this shit. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Anyway, catch you guys in the next video. Peace.